Hey everybody, it is Kara again. Welcome back to Knowledge Work Nexus. Thanks for joining us. I hope that you'll take just a second to like and subscribe if you haven't done that yet. And you are here in my Rebuilding My Vault series, all about the reasons why I am rebuilding my vault and how I'm going about it. If you wanna see the intro video for this entire series, I will put a link to it right up here. And then if you want any of the links or information about this series, I've got all of that down in the description below. So just look down there and find it. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing some Thing that is really important in Obsidian, which is setting up my folder structure and talking a little bit about how my folders and files will play because that is one of the differentiators of Obsidian is that you do get to use folders as well as your individual files and pages. So it's kind of important to give some thought to that. So come on along and I'll show you how I'm going to set that up. Hey everybody, we are here in my extended mind vault that we built in the last video. And today we're gonna do something fairly simple, which is set up the folder structure. Um, but we are going to, hopefully if everything goes as planned, um, add our first uh, plugin because it is actually a part of my folder structure. So um, let's actually do that first. Um, and that is going to be the Excaladraw plugin. I love Excaladraw. I am a, um, I'm a supporter of that tool. Um, pay just a little bit each month to help uh, contribute to the building of it because it is a fantastic visual thinking tool. Um, and if you're not familiar, Zolt who uh, creates and maintains that so let's go ahead and install that plugin first. So we're going to come over here to our uh, settings. And we're going to go to community plugins and we are going to finally turn on community plugin. Or no, we're going to finally browse. Sorry. Um, let me actually turn this off just so you can see this. I didn't think I'd done this yet, but apparently I had. So when you first log into Obsidian and you first come to community plugins, you'll get all these warnings. Um, I'm only going to be using safely, uh, pretty well maintained community plugins. So I'm going to go ahead and turn them on. To find one, we're going to go to browse and then I can just start typing for what I want. So I want Excal. And I want Excaladraw. We may install Excalibrain later on in the series, but for day, today we're gonna to do Excaladraw. And to install a plugin, if you've not done this before, it's super simple, just hit install. And then um, there'll be some options here that you do have to continue on with. So install is not the only step you have to take. We're gonna enable next. And then with Excaladraw, both every time you enable it and then every time you update it, um, and in a later video I'll show you how I update um, plugins, you'll get this Welcome to Excaladraw, you'll get a little video showing how it can how it can work. Definitely check out that video content if you're new to Excaladraw, it's fantastic. Um, and there's just so much power in this app. Um, and then we have some options here that we're gonna set. And it's asking us, do I wanna have those release notes displayed after update? I'm gonna say yes, because I do like to know what's going on. Um, do I need to have an update when the plugin is updated? Yes, that would be great. This is the folder where everything is gonna get placed in. Um, if you do take that out, it's gonna be in your root vault. Um, I though am going to add a little emoji here at the end. There we go. All right, so got a little paint painter palette there. Um, do I wanna use Excaladraw folder when embedding a drawing into the active document? And this asks, you know, sort of where do you put um, a drawing, I'm gonna say yes, because I actually want all of my drawings to be together. This is one of the things that I have learned after using Excaladraw for a while, that I like my drawings to all be together. I don't wanna wonder where they are. Um, and then all of this, I think I'm going to leave the same. I don't think there's anything else I wanna change here. But you can see that you've got a lot of things that you can do here. You can match to your theme. So if you like, I'm in dark mode right now, it would do a dark drawing. I prefer light uh, when I'm doing Excaladraw, so I don't want to do that. Um, all sorts of things here. Um, do I want to enable pin mode? I would only do that on Obsidian. I'm going to leave that as never. I can always do it. I use my Apple Pencil um, quite a bit. And then what do we do when if, with links and things that are in our drawings? I think I'm gonna leave all of this the same. We may come back in here and change some of it, but you can see just how incredibly powerful this app is. There are so many, uh, so many things here that we can use. So with that, 
uh, I'm going to go ahead and close the plugin. And now when I create that Excala draw folder, um, that is where all my drawings will get added. So we're going to set up our folder structure here. And so I'm going to come over here to new folder. And I've got my folders already named with their little icons over on a different screen. So I'm going to be moving back and forth here a couple times. So my first folder is going to be um, Atlas. This is the, sort of the top. And you know what? I'm actually change that a little bit more and change it to About. I've been wandering back and forth between About and Atlas. I like About better. Um, my second folder is going to be called Kronos, and that is where all of my uh, calendar items and those sorts of gonna, things are going to go. If you want to know more about the why behind that, you can check out the Medium article that I'll link down below. I go into a lot of detail behind this. Um, I'm going to check out, I'm going to add Commonplace next. So this is where the bulk of the content from my vault will go. This and, and one other folder that I'll get to in just a second. Um, commonplace is where like all of my quotes will go and all my notes will go and all of all of my cards, uh, index card type thing that I would take notes on, um, all of those are gonna go. That Excaladraw folder comes next. So let's grab that one over here and we're gonna add it here. There we go. And then my next folder is my salon folder. This is where um, all of my book notes and all of my, um, if, if you're a Zettelkastener, all of my literature notes would go here. All of my source notes would go here. Common places where all my Zettels would go. That might be an easier way to explain it if you're in the Zettelkasten world. And then my last folder is my shine folder. This is really the productivity folder um, where all of my, oops, I did that wrong again, did it in the wrong order. Um, all of my projects and writing and all of that sort of stuff will go. So with that, we have our folder structure all set up um, and we are ready to move on to the next thing in our series. So don't forget to like and subscribe um, if you liked this video and I will be back shortly with the next video in our series. Thanks everybody.